my name is Fadimina. Um, I'm a youth that is from the West Side. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. Um, so this is my third meeting this week talking about this issue. So I'm just going to go straight to the solutions portion instead of talking about the general issue. I think a lot of us understand what's going on and we've been talking about this. Um, the reality is that we are black and we're immigrants. So the, the black community, the th issues that, are suff that they're suffering and everything that's systematic, that comes along with their history, we're affected by it too. We're living in the same neighborhoods, we're dealing with the same exact issues, and the fact that we're immigrants and we don't speak the language, we are unaware of the research and the progress that they've made to overcome this. And a lot of our brothers here, mashallah, have, who have studied criminology and things like that, that's something that our community definitely needs to be educated on because there are people who have been through this and gone through this and are still going through this, and we can't keep reinventing the wheel and thinking our problems are extremely unique to us. It's been going on throughout the history of black people in America so we need to recognize that the second thing we have to understand is the youth that are being affected by this it is completely at random it's not just the fact that the youth are the only ones that are gonna be killed are the ones that are completely addicted to drugs are in gangs or any of that no a lot of these youth used to go to the massage and just have like a bad crowd of friends and they were just sitting with them randomly one day and they were shot so you don't think the west side is the worst side and everybody from the north side should focus on the west side or the west side should focus on the north side it's completely at random. So we need to focus on every youth that we have a connection with and that we can be close to because it can be them at any point, boys or girls. That's just a matter of fact that's going on in this world right now. So the things that I think we really strongly need to focus on, yes, there's a, mashallah, I agree that a task force needs to be created, but the meeting I just came from was a meeting with SICO, if you guys know of them. They're also creating a task force. So we need to come together. We can't just have a task force here, there, 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 and we keep reinventing the same thing over and over again. So inshallah, after this meeting I can talk about when the next meeting is and if we can join forces that would be amazing because we can't we have to be stronger we're stronger in bigger numbers and not when we're divided amongst each other the second thing is um, we need to talk about prevention and we need to prepare for recovery we can't worry about the issues of the youth who do not want the help we cannot force anybody who does not want help to get help but we can prevent and ways that we can prevent is educating those youth and giving them the resources during the summer is the worst time for deaths and that's when the majority of our youth are dying. We need to be active on as many fronts that we can to get these youth summer jobs, internships, something to keep them busy. Our youth program needs to be on point when it comes to the summertime. And the massages, mashallah, that's where we're coming from, Mr. Abu Bakr and all the other massages, they all have youth programming. They need, they need support. If our massages can be used as community centers, that is where the largest amount of people come to every day. We need to use it. We cannot just keep opening more community centers when we have facilities. Let's give support to what's there. That's one of the issues that we have is we divide and we and we don't support what's already going on. So we need to support our massages. Yeah? We need to support them. And I think another thing is, with this task force that's created, there needs to be its own specific funding that's created for it. We need to, do, every single person in this room can donate money. The majority of the youth, of you men in this room right now and women are a little older, so you guys cannot necessarily connect with the youth in a way that we can. But what you can do is give us the resources, the amount of money for us to create the programming. That is your number one thing that you can do for us, is to give us the support financially and educationally if you can. If every single person in this room donated, wallahi, we could do so much with our community. But we are so stingy with our money and we just want other people to do it. That's one huge issue that we have. Um, the other thing is we need to prepare for recovery. The people who want the help, they have no place to go. I had close, close relatives, especially this summer, who were addicted to alcohol. She had no idea where to go. Her mother was freaking out. She was like, where are any rehab facilities? Where are any places for her to go? She was so embarrassed, but she wanted her daughter to get help. If majority of the AA meetings that happen, that's Alcoholic Anonymous, happens in churches, not massages. We don't have things like that, but our people have those issues. So if we had, if we prepare for recovery, we can help so many people. Mashallah, the brother over there mentioned uh, Rami Nashashibi. I know well aware of his programming. Mashallah, he's amazing. He has a great program that's a re-entry program. So when people come out of jail, they immediately have something for them to go to, for them to get a job, so they aren't going back to selling drugs, and for them to have housing. 
if our community came together for our young Somali boys to have a job and housing, how many people would get out of that cycle of the prison pipeline just going over and over and over again? So these things have been researched and there's so many ways for us to do it. I think that the, my main point is focus on prevention, stronger families, I agree, and prepare for recovery and support the people who are doing it for us to come together, inshallah.